Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of 421 Fishing. Um, it's been a little while since I uploaded a video. I got one for you tonight. Tonight I'm just going to discuss something with everybody. For, for all of y'all who are uh, looking into getting into tournament angling, tournament fishing. Um, there's a lot of different places and all different ways you can start. you got, you know, local tournaments. There's charity tournaments. And then there you've got your regional tournaments. Um, whether it be kayak or bass boat, whatever it is, it, it can kind of get your foot in the door with the tournament fishing. I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of advice tonight on what what really helps um, beginners when it comes to tournament angling. I'm in my first season of tournament angler. Um, I've been bass fishing a long time, and I always this is what I've always wanted to do. But I've always made sure that I could hone my skills in the best I could before I ever started tournament angling. That was a goal of mine. And I've done that. In my first season, I've compiled, you know, um, five top fours and three top threes. And I've, I'm placed fifth in my region right now in my first year in tournament um, tournament angling. And I'm within shooting a distance of fishing the Georgia State Championship this year. If I remain in, my one, in one of these top five spots where I'm at, I will fish the Georgia State Championship this year in my first season at tournament angler. And a lot of times, when you're new to tournament angling, it's not so much about how good a fisherman you are, or how well, how good you are at finding fish, or figuring out a bite, um, or a pattern. It's it's a mental thing. It's good. It's it's not like going out and leisure fishing and just having fun. You're you're putting money on the line, and there's more money on the line for you if you win. And there's also, you know, placing. You know just catching fish especially when I fish, I fish kayak tournaments so just getting a limit sometimes is just as big as you know finishing in the money especially when you're in position you know like me and a few other guys are where we're in you know the top five in our region our biggest concern at this point is just to have a limit each tournament so we can um, get our fish get our measurements we'll have and we'll have uh, we'll be able to hold our spots because at this point there's not a lot of going to be moving up and down between one and five one and five is going to if all of us you know catch our limit each tournament then we'll just pretty much stay steady where we're at which is what pretty much everybody wants at this point um but the biggest key to being a successful tournament angler is it's it's mental it's all mental um Actually, my second tournament this year ended up being one of the worst fishing experiences of my life. Um, look, we've all been skunked from time to time. Um, whether it's we can't find the fish, we can't figure out the pattern or what they want on that certain day. You know, it it just it happens to all of us. But I had one of those days that it's it was a rare skunk. Um, I found fish. I found the pattern. Um, I was getting bites. I just couldn't land the fish. I, I I could not land any fish. I ha I was I had one fish jump off at the boat. I had two break me off, and then I had one right at the end of the day. It would have only been one fish, but it was a good fish, every bit of four pounds, and I got about three to four cranks on him, and he was gone. It was just it was a horrible day. Um, it was very stressful it was and I was very down on myself and I've, I've never been one to be down on myself especially when it comes to fishing but I was new to the whole tournament angling thing and when you're when, when you're a really good fisherman when you know you're a good fisherman and you're fishing with a bunch of guys that don't know you these aren't your buddies you know these aren't your friends these guys don't know whether you're a good fisherman or not so as much as anything as you want to prove to yourself and to them how good you are but when you come in skunked no fish it's embarrassing and it was I was embarrassed and humiliated but I had a month before the next tournament to regroup and get myself together and I mean, it, it did not get better I mean I went out leisure fishing the next weekend and it had the exact same thing happen um, I lost six fish that day two over five pounds and even though I was just leisure fishing for fun it was it was like a repeating pattern and it helped and you really get down on yourself 
but I just want to let y'all know that don't do that because as serious as it can be and you can take it too serious at times because things will fall into place and sometimes it's just little altercations you need to make and I found what mine were um, to me a lot of my confidence is in my gear and if I'm and if I lose confidence and I don't have confidence in the gear I'm using then I've always been wanting to struggle I don't know if that's you know my sports background and I'm, I'm especially baseball I'm very superstitious when it comes to baseball so I will you know wear the same socks or whatever every game as long as it's working it's the same thing with fishing um, to me and I just lost confidence in myself my gear so I had to do something different um, I'm not on here to promote you know any brand for any reason but I did switch I've always been a Gamagatsu guy and I switched over to VMC and a buddy of mine told me look try these VMC hooks they're extremely they're as sharp as trocar but they're light wire he said that light wire that smaller hook diameter will help you get better hook sets and help you hook fish better and I kid you not that little altercation going to the VMC hooks I bought five or six packs of them the next tournament I'm catching fish left and right on a drop shot and I have my limit by nine o'clock and I'm culling I ended up finishing fourth in that tournament um, I couldn't find any big large mouth uh, I caught a few small ones on shad rats but I was able to catch some good sized spots on a drop shot off points and I finished fourth in that tournament and that was just a big boost to me it was it was just a mental thing and I was able to get over that mental hump because that first fish I landed that day, I've never been more excited in my life to catch 12 inch fish, but I was excited because it was like getting that monkey off my back. And then the following two tournaments, I finished third, third, and third, <laughs> three straight times. Um, and I put myself in the position I'm in now. It's just a thing, guys when you start tournament fishing just remember the main reason you did this of course is to have fun but it's because you believe in yourself and you believe you're good enough to do this you're gonna have rough times you're gonna be tough times but you, you but you just can't let that get to you and remember especially with tournament fishing a lot of times you've got a month or so in between tournaments so you have plenty of time to bring it down bring it down reevaluate the situation and if you have to tink, tinker and just find new things whether it's you know maybe you're, you need to go to a different brand of hooks or you know wh whatever it is that can help your confidence do it don't get down on yourself that's the biggest key is be positive because no matter what you did this and started this because you believed in yourself so don't worry about what anybody else thinks do it for yourself and you will be successful and continue to learn always learn always read take knowledge from other good take knowledge from other guys that give you advice on the tournament tour you know I learned I've learned several you know just little tips and tricks that will really help you especially when you're kayak fishing because it's not like fishing out of the bass boat you land a fish and bam put it in the live well and that's it no there's more to it when you've got that hog trough and you have to measure that fish and get that fish on that board mouth closed up against the bump board and try and take a picture of it there's a lot of tips to it and tricks and i'll go over that in another video but i just kind of wanted to give that rundown that the biggest thing guys tournament fishing especially when you're starting out is positivity always be positive and don't get down on yourself because things can change just like that is as quickly as they get bad, they can get good just as quick. Just remember that, guys. All right. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for following. Like my videos, guys. And I'll be back here probably another week or so with a new video for you for 21 Fishing. Maybe your host, Craig Smith. Good night, guys.